Hey, you okay? No, I was just thinking about the good old days. I remember this one time I was furious at Margot for taking my cardigan idea. So I got back at her by stealing her boyfriend. Mm. And then she got me audited and I had her framed for arson. Hey, hey, let's go down a wardrobe and weigh you. That always cheers you up. No, not in the mood. Oh, Nina, I don't get it. You should be happy. You're top dog now. Oh, so what? It just landed at my feet. It's not like I earned it. Oh, I get it. This is just like the flying Hawaiian and Bobby the backbreaker brewbaker. Thanks for stopping by. No, 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 no. When I was a kid, they were the two best pro wrestlers. Backbreaker was the champ, and the Hawaiian was always the number one contender. Then, Backbreaker retired, and the flying Hawaiian finally became the champ. But it was a somber luau, because he never got the Backbreaker's respect. <laughs> you know, Elliot, it's, it's funny you should be telling this story, because, in a way, I'm sort of like that Hawaiian fellow. <laughs> Yeah, how funny, that's funny. So whatever happened to the flying Hawaiian? Oh, he was so distraught, he became the crying Hawaiian. And later, according to police, the crack-buying Hawaiian. <laughs> what it all boils down to is that you want Margot's respect. Yeah, well, it's only fair. I mean, I respected her all these years. Yeah, but does she know that? What do you mean? I mean, you want her respect. Did it ever occur to you that she might want yours? What she would want. <laughs> huh. No, I, I never thought of it like that. Well, th thanks. Thanks, Elliot. I knew you'd come. So, this is what Margot Langhorn gave up the fashion world for. It's so... peaceful. It suits my needs. Well, the trees, that magnificent field. <laughs> that quaint scarecrow, which bears a striking resemblance to me. <laughs> take it down, but the local children like to throw rocks at it. I like her blouse. Richard Tyler. Yes, I know. Spring collection. Yes, I know. So I assume you didn't come all the way to Connecticut to admire the scenery. Uh, no. No, I, I didn't. Listen, I, I just want to say that I know over the years we've had our battles and while I didn't appreciate it at the time, I now realize that our competition pushed me to new creative heights, and, and I'm a better woman for it. So, thank you. Really? Yes. Well, I have to admit, before you came along, I had lost all faith in pastels. <gasps> I don't know what to say. And I liked your take on corduroy. I'm floored. <laughs> you know, Nina, when I started out as a, an assistant editor and you were a model, I, I thought you were kind of a flake. And then when I heard you were becoming fashion editor, I thought it was a joke. But? <laughs> but, much to my surprise, you not only survived, you flourished. You've become a force, and I admire you for that. You do? Who knows? Under different circumstances, we might have been friends. Well, that would have been nice. <laughs> so have you heard about the new Todd Herman line? What? Well, let me just put it this way. He's leading with silk shantung pants. <laughs> just sets himself up. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, aren't you going to miss it? Me? No. No, I'm over it. The pettiness, the backstabbing. Do you know that I once put a horse tranquilizer in someone's coffee just to beat her to an exclusive? Well, that was me. I thought you were just being nice. <laughs> no. No, that's all behind me. I pass the torch to you. I, I can't tell you what this means to me. I mean, th this is like getting the approval of my own mother. Isn't that sweet? Your mother. Back to hell with you! <laughs> 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 <laughs>